In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve a system with fewer equations than variables. The question reads, use Gaussian elimination to solve the system. Notice that our system contains two equations and three unknowns. The first thing that I'll do is rewrite this system as an augmented matrix. And by that, I'll look at the leading coefficients of each variable and write them out in real form. So for our first equation, we have 1, 2, 3, and 70. And for our second equation, we have 1, 1, 1, and 60. Now I'll attempt to convert this augmented matrix into one that's in row echelon form, which means that our main diagonal needs to be 1 and 1, and it is. And the numbers underneath this one, namely this one, has to be equal to 0. So if we want to make this into 0, what I will do is I'll subtract row 1 from row 2, and then replace all of the numbers with the answers that I find. So to document that, I'll write down row 1 minus row 2. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. This becomes 0, and that's exactly what we want. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. And 70 minus 60 is 10. So our brand new matrix is 1, 2, 3, and 70. That row doesn't change. And the second row is 0, 1, 2, and 10. Now that we have it in row echelon form, this matrix actually translates into the following system of equations. For the first row, we have x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 70. And for the second row, I have y plus 2z is equal to 10. Now I have to find a generic solution set for this system. And the way I can do that is I'll start off with this equation. I'll solve for y. So if I solve for y in this equation, I'll end up with y is equal to 10 minus 2z. So this expression right here represents all of my y coordinates, 10 minus 2z. I'll substitute 10 minus 2z into this equation. And then I'll solve for x. So if I substitute this into here, I'll end up with x plus 2 bracket 10 minus 2z plus 3z is equal to 70. Notice that my equation is in terms of x and z. Next, I'll expand this expression. So I have x plus 2 times 10 is 20. 2 times negative 2z is negative 4z plus 3z is equal to 70. Minus 4z plus 3z is equal to negative z. And all I'm doing here is solving for x. So to do that, I'll take this 20 over. That makes that 50. And I'll take this z over. That makes it plus z. So this expression is the answer for all the x-coordinates of our solution set. Our solution set, therefore, will be 50 plus z. For our y-coordinate, we have 10 minus 2z. And for our z-coordinate, that will remain as z. And there you have it. That is how to solve a system with fewer equations than variables.